Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about algorithms for adaptive equalization. In detail, we are going to discuss about zero forcing algorithm. Algorithms for adaptive equalization. In adaptive equalization technique, the term adaptive represents the changing nature or tracking availability of equalizer according to changing time varying channels say particularly in mobile fading channels such an equalizer is known as adaptive equalizer there are two main modes of operating methods available here they are training and tracking Equalizers frequency response and the spectrum frequency response after equalization is shown in this diagram. Let us discuss the concept of training. A known training sequence of fixed length is transmitted by the transmitter. At the receiver end, the equalizer tries to adapt to the time varying channel such that it does a proper setting for detection. Of the sequence received with minimum bit error rate that is BER. The training sequence is also known as pseudo random binary signal that is a fixed bit pattern. As this training sequence is transmitted, it is followed by a user data. After receiving that signal, an adaptive equalizer at the receiver's end does two functions namely it evaluates the radio channel by using a recursive algorithm and it estimates filter coefficients for compensating intersymbol interference distortion that is created by multiple fx in mobile channel there are some worst case situations in real time mobile communication that the communication system has to face like longest time delay deepest fades fastest velocity assuming all these factors in the training sequence is designed and it allows the receiver's equalizer is to obtain proper filter coefficients even in the post conditions simple linear equalizer during training period is represented in this diagram now we'll discuss about the tracking as soon as the user data is received at the receiver the adaptive algorithm used in the equalizer starts to track the changing radio channel hence the equalizer has to change its filter coefficients continuously over a time period. Hence, if an equalizer is correctly trained, it is assumed as converged equalizer and it also makes the tracking process comparatively more easier. The performance of the algorithms are influenced by many factors. They are as follows. First factor is computational complexity the second factor is rate of convergence the third factor is misadjustment and the fourth factor is numerical properties computational complexity factor it is nothing but the number of operations needed to make one full iteration of the algorithm the next factor rate of convergence the rate of convergence is defined as the number of complete iterations needed for the algorithm in response to the stationary inputs applied for converging more close to the optimum solutions. In non-stationary environment, rate of convergence enables the algorithm for tracking any statistical variation. The third influencing factor misadjustment. For an algorithm selected, the misadjustment parameter provides a quantitative measure 
with which the lost value of mean square error that is averaged over an ensemble of the adaptive filters deviating from the optimal minimum mean square error value. Fourth influencing factor numerical properties. There are chances of inaccuracies generated due to round of noise and representation errors in computers when an algorithm is implemented numerically. The choice of the algorithm depends on the coherence time and the data rate of the channel. An equalizer is capable to equalize over the delay intervals that is less than or equal to maximum delays within the filter's structure. Zero forcing algorithm. In a zero forcing equalizer, the coefficients of equalizer q suffix n are selected for forcing the samples of combined channel. The impulse response of the equalizer is zero at all points but one of the nt spaced sample points in tamped delay line filter circuit. It is amazing to note that by increasing the number of coefficients without any limits, an infinite length equalizer with zero intersymbol interference can be achieved. But the main drawback of this zero forcing equalizer is noise enhancement. Here is a representation of block diagram of zero forcing equalizer. Consider that each time delay is equal to that of the symbol period small t, the frequency response h suffix eq of f of the equalizer circuit is periodic with the time period equal to symbol rate 1 by t. The combined response of the radio channel with the equalizer at receiver should satisfy Nyquist first condition. H suffix c of f into h suffix equivalent of f is equal to 1. The magnitude of f is less than 1 by 2t. Where h suffix c of f is folded frequency response of radio channel. Or in other words, the system response should be such that q of z is equal to 1 divided by z of z where q of z is the channel that has to be predicted. If this type of response in system is obtained so that zero forcing algorithm is achieved, it enables zero ISA distortion at receiving end. This algorithm was developed to meet the requirements of wireless communication. Noise enhancement is the demerit of zero forcing algorithm. But due to noise enhancement criteria, it is suggested that this zero forcing algorithm can be applied for static channels than the mobile channel, which is time varying in nature. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends.